How do you recover from that loss? Number one, thank Allah for the positives that you do have. I've got a little, I've still got the ability to search and hunt for another job. And I may have the ability to establish something of my own step by step. They say when you have stopped walking, that is when you know that you cannot move forward. But if you can pick up one foot and put it in front of the other and then pick up the other and put it in front and pick up the other one again and put it in front one step at a time, you will walk the entire mile. Before you know it, you look back and say, wow, I've walked a whole mile. But for you, it was one step at a time. The same applies with our difficulty in life. The loss, you will recover one step at a time. One day at a time. A portion of a day at a time. You survive the day, thank Allah at the end of the day with Salatul Isha. Thank Allah, oh Allah, I survived today. I earned today a little bit. I had a little bit of food. I thank you for this. A believer focuses on the positives. The one whose connection with Allah is weak focuses on the negatives. Oh Allah, I only earned 3,000 this month. 3,000 other people are surviving on a few hundred. I only earned 3,000. What are you talking about? What did you do? Oh, I can't afford rental. How much is your rent? 25,000. Why are you living in such a big house? To help you recover from your loss, you must learn to adjust your life and thank Allah for it. To help you recover from your loss, adjust your life. Thank Allah for it because if you do not thank Allah, there is no chance that you're going to move forward and you won't even be able to adjust. How can you not budget? You must budget. You lost your job immediately. You start watching where you are spending, what is going on. It does not mean because my friends and my family and everyone thinks that I'm rich. Now that I've lost a job, I need to get a loan or two. No, do not get yourself into loan. No debt. Don't do that. Do not get yourself in, into unnecessary expense. It will help you recover from your loss. Adjust your life. Learn to perhaps change the quality of or the standard of your living, the quality of your food and drink perhaps. People are wealthy, they get accustomed to expensive taste. Then one day when they lose, what happens? They find it depressing to downgrade. That's a weakness in you, not in Allah. Astaghfirullah. That's why they say when you have children and you've been blessed with wealth, your dream is to give them a comfortable life while doing so. Consider the fact that they, be, they may be married into a home that doesn't have all of that. Or they may come a day when you don't have all of that. Don't get them too spoiled. Even when you have. Don't spoil yourself so much that one day when you don't have, it's going to really cause a huge depression. No. Be humble. The main thing that a believer focuses on when he earns is charity. Did you know that? The main thing a believer should be focused on when Allah blesses him with something is how he can give it to others. Subhanallah. That's the main thing. That's why I've always said Islam is the only religion that has made it a pillar of faith to share what you have with those who don't have it. It's the only religion. Part of the five pillars is Allah bless you. That man doesn't have, take it out of your pocket and give him. Then you fulfill the pillar of Islam. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Have you thought of that? That means Allah wants you to share what he's given you. Forget about the percentage because it differs. Two and a half is the bulk of zakat. Okay. But over and above that, if Allah is making it a rule, a part of your faith to give away two and a half percent of what you have in terms of belongings to those who don't have under certain conditions, don't you think he would be super, super happy if you gave way more than that? Because he gave you way more than that. What's the point of a Muslim? wanting to amass in a way that he or she wants to be known as I have billions and trillions and more billions and more. It's okay to be a billionaire. There's nothing wrong with it. But what are you doing with that wealth? Are you giving it? 
Are you spending it? Are you building your paradise by spending it in the right cause? If the answer is yes, Allah will make easy for you the recovery from your loss the day it comes. Remember, money cannot buy everything. 